Hey everyone, we're here at TriggerCon 2017 unarmed because of their stupid rules here at the convention. But uh, with that aside, we are here at Rise Armament. You guys may have heard of them because of their triggers before. They have some really popular, affordable triggers, specifically this one right here, the RA140. But you guys are now releasing a new trigger this year, is that correct? Yes, we are. So we have just released the RA434 trigger. Okay. Uh, it's a flat style blade, which we've been asked for for probably a year now at least. Um, so we're going to offer this in flat, but it's going to be available in black and a silver blade. Okay. So whatever color people want sticking out of their receiver, you can choose from exactly. there. Okay. And what's the, the approximate uh, pull weight on one of those? So three and a half pounds is what it's set at. Okay. And is it adjustable at all? It's not adjustable. And these are all single piece drop in, correct? They are. They're okay. ready to go. I mean, simple to install. Sure. And the mil spec triggers just that. Sure. Make it tough. Right. And so what's the approximate retail for one of these? The retail for the RA434 is going to be 169 169 Okay. And are these shipping currently or is there still going to they, be a little bit of a wait time? They are shipping out as we speak. Okay. Perfect. So if you guys like one of these, you can pick them up right away. So again, like I said, I heard about them because of their triggers. However, you guys are doing complete rifles as well, which was something I didn't know until we saw them on the range yesterday. So here we have one of your 308s. Can you talk to us a little bit about this thing? Yeah, so this is our 1121 XR rifle. Okay. Um, it, comes, it comes with a billet receiver set. Um, we've got an M-Lock 15 inch handrail. Okay. Um, our barrel on it is an 11 and a quarter twist. Okay. Um, but yeah, we shot this thing. We introduced this at SHOT Show this year and shot out to 900 yards. Everybody was hitting the steel plate. It's a very, very accurate gun. Yeah. Um, we offer it in three different production colors. So you can get it in foliage green, at FDE, as you see here, and then also black. Cool. So again, you got a bunch of color options for you. Um, and again, are these shipping currently? Did you they are. They are shipping currently. And again, um, I, yesterday, after we got done at the range day, I was talking with the Haas USMC and we were kind of talking about, you know, what would you find the most impressive? And this was one that kind of stuck out in our minds because if, you, if you've if you held AR-10s before and you've dealt with the kind of heavier 308 ARs, they're really, really heavy. They're lighter than some other options out there, but they're really heavy. This one feels about the same weight as a regular AR-15, right? Yes, it's very, very lightweight. I mean, I want to say we're right under 10 pounds with this rifle. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. And then, especially with these muscle brakes you guys have on there, it really doesn't feel like you're shooting a 308, which is no. the other nice part of that. Because when you're giving up that weight, or if you're making it lighter, usually you're going to get more recoil as a result. But with these muzzle brakes, you're really knocking that down and making it a lot more pleasant to shoot, which is really nice. And then, like you said, they were pretty accurate. I think the range you guys were on was 200, 200. yards. And I mean, they had silhouettes out there, and it was just no challenge at all to just keep plugging away at those. Um, so really great options. But you guys also are doing five five or 223 Wild, correct? Yeah, 223 Wild. Make sure that doesn't fall. Um, <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your AR-15 line? Yeah, so the one you're holding here is the uh, RA-315 competition rifle. Okay. Um, so everything on this, billet again, billet receiver set, billet handguard, uh, same style handguard, the M-Lock. Uh, we've got our 16-inch competition barrel, really, really popular right now. Uh, it's a one and seven twist. Okay. We've got really aggressive flutes, you know, right here at the end of the barrel, just making it lightweight. Sure. Um, this gun, I mean, it just it shoots and performs great. It doesn't move at all when you're shooting. Yeah. But, I mean, like you were saying with the muzzle muzzle device, this comp just performs. I mean, it really holds the gun down. Yeah. I mean, it's it, this one is also nice and lightweight. They're really not putting a whole bunch of stuff here on the handguard, weighing it down. It's nice and uh, cut down, makes it a lot lighter. And then these color options, is that something that's come standard or is yeah, that something so extra? It is, it comes standard just like that. So we've got I believe, five different production colors on okay. this gun. Awesome. And are you guys just doing 223 Wild and Air 15s or are you doing other colors? We've also? got a 300 Blackout, um, but one of our biggest thing is definitely the 223 Wild. Cool. And do you have different barrel lengths also or uh -huh. are you just keeping it? Okay, we got 14 yeah. inch all the way up to 20 inch. Okay, perfect. So as long as you know, going to keep it those NFA legal lengths, you got pretty much all those options from there on up. Um, so, what approximately what do these come into market at? So that one right there, I believe, is six, 1730. Okay, and what about your 308s? That retails for like 2500. Okay, so about the same as you can expect for you know a, a 308 of that level, that lightness, and all that. So. 
again, they're not just doing triggers, they're doing a lot more stuff. Pretty much everything on these rifles is made by you guys, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so if they want to know more about what kind of products you guys offer, where can they find out more? Um, they can definitely go to our website, risearmament.com, okay. um, or give us a call. I mean, it's yeah, easy, cool. easy to find us. Okay, awesome. Like I said, um, I definitely want to try to get my hands on one of these triggers so I can ex examine it for myself, but I've been hearing a lot of good stuff. Those 140s are all over the place because they come in at such an affordable price. So, uh, you know, I've been hearing good things, don't have first-hand experience with them other than shooting the triggers you guys brought out yesterday. But uh, I'll have all the links below to their website. Definitely check out their product line. But thanks a lot for talking to us. Absolutely. And uh, hopefully we'll see some more from Rise Armament, Armament on my channel. So thanks for watching. The trigger is really nice.